In light of the political attention surrounding the borderland and border security along the U.S.-Mexico border, two local congresswomen led a congressional delegation along the border today. KTS 79 News reporter Stephanie Shields gives us the report from Summon Park. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar and Sochi Torres Small hosted a border tour on Saturday to help teach other Democrats from Congress what it's like living on the border and its security. It's um, frustrating to know that we are being painted as a dangerous place meant to be controlled. Representatives saying in order to come together with a bipartisan solution for border security, people need to see the border and the surrounding communities for themselves. We also know that we need an agency that will continuously adapt to changing threats and circumstances. And that's why you have to look at the, the border on a mile-by-mile -mile basis. Congressional delegates toured different ports of entries, spoke with immigration advocates, and were briefed by CBP on border security. One of the things they said that unfortunately our president has not made uh, clear enough is that it is a mix of policies uh, that will make our communities safe our border uh, secure. For those reps who had never been to the southern border, it was a way to gain knowledge of it, to better explain to the constituents. With all the debate about what we're doing about border security, it was important to me to come here and see how very different it is from the northern border where I grew up. Saying CBP agents showed them what the borders need for better security, more detection technology, agents, and more immigration judges. I want America to stay, take a step back and realize that uh, political rhetoric is political rhetoric, but the truth and the facts um, are also here, and that's what we should be conveying to the American people. And this tour comes just days after President Trump said El Paso was once one of the most dangerous cities before the border fence, and just two days before he makes his visit to the borderland on Monday. Reporting in Sunland Park, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.